Hello, I wanted to pop on here today so we could talk about how to price your artwork. It's a question so many people ask and I feel like it's one of the most viewed things on YouTube just because it is difficult. How do you price something that is so subjective? Well, I think the best way to price artwork is through an equation. There's two that come to mind. I've used both, but let's talk about it. The first one is gonna be the height plus the width of the canvas times a, a constant. The second way is through square footage, which is the height times the width of the canvas times a constant. To me, the biggest difference between those two equations is what your smaller paintings are gonna cost and what is a big painting gonna cost. I used to do the height plus width times a constant. Now I do the square inch. For me, the reason I like that is because when I use that formula, it kind of, it seemed like it made my smaller paintings a little bit cheaper and more affordable. But as the size went up, it incrementally increased and became more expensive, which would accommodate the time that it takes to paint a larger painting, the supplies it takes to paint a larger painting, those sort of things. Everything fell into a price range that really seemed to work well for me. I like it, it's easy, it's really easy for customers to be able to see exactly what they're gonna be paying, and I just like how transparent and cut and dry it is. Now, as far as your variable to use, how do you decide what, like, what you would, what category you would fall under? So, for me, I think if you are a beginner, just starting out, the price range of your painting should be between 50 to $500. That's like basic, this is like your first whatever, you are just starting out painting or no one really knows your name, you don't really have a social media following, you're just trying to get your name out there and sell maybe to your small local community or friends or family. I think that's a really good price range for the very beginner, beginner artist. I'd probably be just like times one as your variable, might be one or two. But then I think for an emerging artist, you're starting to grow, you're starting to be seen in competitions and gain a social media following. There's a little bit more demand for your artwork. That would probably fall between the two to four category for your variable. I think for that artwork, it can be anywhere from $500 to about, let's say like 2000 is kind of the emerging artist. And then from there on would be a more established artist. You'd be looking at a price range probably between 2000 to 5000 per painting. That level, you have definitely a social media following. You're making it into art competitions. You're winning things. Maybe you have some gallery representation. Your name is just kind of out there and there's a little bit more of a buzz to it. From there, the next step up is going to be the established artist. That is someone who is in galleries. You have representation. You are winning competitions. Um, like people know you that's when you can kind of start to get into the range of 5,000, 10,000 and beyond, where is there a limit to that? Yes, no, depending on who you are, what kind of style you use, but to me that's just the easiest way to kind of navigate your pricing. Again, it's whatever variable would ultimately get your artwork to kind of fit within those parameters, but I do think, again, like level one would be 50 to 500, next level up 500 to maybe 2,000, then 2,000 to 5,000, then probably 5,000 to 10,000 and 10,000 and beyond. Following that, I think you're going to be in a competitive market and it's kind of an understanding of, it's not even necessarily about your skill, it's more about the, the buzz that your name has around it because there's plenty of phenomenal artists that aren't selling anything. And there's plenty of maybe not so great artists that are selling paintings for a lot of money. And it that's 
It's less so about your capabilities, though a higher capability is obviously gonna eventually be able to sell for a lot more. All that aside, it's less about your own capabilities and more about the buzz you can create around your name. That's where I think a lot of the justifying of cost comes from in the art world. So I hope you found this helpful. It was short and sweet, pretty straight to the point. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I'm happy to answer any questions or maybe even create a further video explaining things. But I hope this gave you a little bit of a guideline on how you could potentially price your artwork because it is difficult and it's personal and I think equations just kind of take the personal out of it. And ultimately it's a business transaction and I hope this was helpful. And if you're interested in more content like this, make sure to subscribe so that you can see all the videos that are hopefully here to help you. And as always, I can't wait to see you in the next one.